Welcome to Inside Out Boards with your host, Cody Bass. Good cold, icy cold water. So, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Welcome to the new subscribers. Thank you for stopping in and joining us here for some good outboard fun. Um, so, we are going to get back on this little bitty cutie. It's a little cutie. A little bitty, little bitty, bitty cutie. Little Johnson, 19 and 78, two stroke, six awesome power. We've got uh, the parts sort of figured out and everything, at least I think, but we got a whole lot of cleaning and scrubbing and stuff to get done to it before we can go back up with it. And uh, so we're going to get to doing that in this here video. And who knows whatever else may come up in between now and getting this thing back in the tank and ready to get to work. So, I say, let's get at it. Let's go.
okay for putting all this back together here on this throttle stuffy get out of there okay there's a bush in there see the bushing there's a bushing with an oiler hole put it in there make it sure it's got a little geese on it and uh, you can clean it off and put fresh grease if you, if you need to whatever you need to do just spraying that with some of that then take a little fresh grease and put up in there like so pull the bushing little fresh grease got an oiler hole there all right now I cleaned out this hole here by taking what's left of that wire brush on a drill and clean that hole out. Clean your wheel a little. You know, you know. You get the picture. You get the picture. A little more geese on there. Got to have the geese. <laughs> geese and then roughly the adjustment part sticks out at you something along that line you know see that little that's where it, that's the stop right there for that screw like so see how see how that is now nice and loosey-goosey now you got this thing Clean that up, make sure there's no chips or breaks or whatever. This one looks good, just dirty is all. Okay. And then, this is the fun part. This screw's gonna stick up out at you. Something like about, let's see, is that the right? Yeah, okay. Oh man, didn't mean for that to happen. Okay, so it goes. It goes like that, I think. Oh, where's that wash? There's a little bushing washer there. It's made out of nylon. You gotta put that first. That's gotta go in there. Like so. Then this is D-shaped. Dog, Delta, dog. So that's going to be facing me, that screw hole where I can put the screw in. I see. So that's kind of what's going on. There it is. Yep, that's what you want. So now you put your screw in there. That's how all that goes together and you get to... You get to make a yucky mess out of everything. But now, it's nice and loosey-goosey. Because all the geese. Alrighty, so you saw how we got this part right here on. Okay, so now, this one's not in good shape. But to put the rest of the tiller handle on, you've got this plastic deal thing here. This one's broke right there, but one ear will hold it. You put that in first if you got one. Some of them are missing. Alrighty. Then you take your handle here. Okay. And let me show you kind of if I can. Alright. If you look at this knuckle here, this brass knuckle and you see the post here and you can see I already put my shim it's a little brass shim sometimes they're plastic sometimes they're aluminum but the distance between the distance between this post right here and these teeth the greatest distance you're going to get is when you put this place where the big lug goes right there you see the distance now you can see this clearance here right there if you got it like that you got less clearance until the big lug comes around in that space 
So you want to line that space up so you get that distance like that. Hopefully that made sense. Anyway, I know a lot of people fight with these things, including me. But go ahead and put your plastic dust cover or whatever that thing is. Set that up like I showed you so you get that distance in there. And then slide that in. And now you got to line up your lugs. And that can be a little bit of a challenge. Oh, I had my thing off. Okay, am I there? I think that's it. Yeah. Then you just want to make sure your knuckles engaged there. Like that. And your lugs are in the right spot. Okay. Then you're going to take your other side and you put your little, this one has an aluminum spacer. Put the spacer there. Come in around this side. Come up. Raise it up like that toward the sky. Slide it down. And it, oh, this washer. The washer goes at the very top all the way up against the pin and is to the outside of the handle. Oh. Well, now it fell back down. Come here. The washer sits to the outside or the top side of that. Now raise that up. Am I in there? I am. Same with the washer here. You got to get it on the top there. Now we're almost there. I do believe. I turned it again so there we go. There we go. Now there's a nut in the back side of here. At least I hope it's still there. I put some geese in there to hold it. Now you just screw in your screw. Okay. Until it gets tight. I better make sure that nut's in there and didn't fall out. Yeah, it's in there, but it's not in there right now. Get my finger. Get my fat finger in there. See if I can push it in there. Yeah, I got it now. Oh, I've got it. And just snug that up a little. Okay. Then, now if you watch, is it in there? I'm going to move it just a little. Now if I use this, you can watch this, it turns like it's supposed to now. Now we got to find them other little screws and things that go in here. Same thing, it's got the little um, indent or whatever you want to call it, bossing for these little nuts that go in the back and they have a shape and if you got the big fat fainters like I do it'll be a little bit challenging but screw them in there we go that one. Got to find that other nut. I don't see it. Where you at, little guy? You're hiding on me. There you are. Found it. Same thing. Put your other nut in. And then this. Now, after you get these snugged up, you got a piece of plastic thingy. Alrighty. There she is, all there. What's up to that sticky? Then you got this little guy that goes on there. You can see this cut out that goes to the bottom. And it's supposed to say start, shift, and all that, but it's all wore off. But this cutout goes to the bottom. There's a bossing right here. And it hides the little screws there. Now let me take this out. 
inside the uh, you've got a plastic insert that goes in there, <clears throat> inside there excuse me just like that hopefully you can see that in there then you've got the washer sitting all the way up top on top of the bosses inside the, the throttle pieces here then you put your spring on top of that washer then you've got a little start stop shift and then your screw hole so you kind of line that up with where it, where it would have said start and all that and let's see there we go I think that's it then I take a little punch thing and go in the screw hole and make sure I'm lined up and hopefully you can see that so I know I'm kind of right there because I've got my mark lined up right here I've got my hole lined up right here for the screw so we're good there get my screwdriver and get her screwed in there and I did put a little antiseize on this screw and then I'll have to screw that on in and then there's the you can see my stop down here actually you can't now you can you can see my stop here the screw that sits the idle here stop hitting that right there so when I come all the way back to idle my mark up here will be lined up okay on this 1978 Johnson six horsepower here's your water pump impeller housing setups okay 78 and prior you might end up with this when you drop your lower unit It'll, th this may not be the very one, but it will look almost identical to this. So it'll have the bigger, skinnier impeller with the long, skinny veins. It'll have a cast aluminum uh, housing. And so it'll look like that. The old style, the impeller is 0277181. The housing is 030442. I think you can still buy both all right the newer style which in my opinion is better because it has the stainless cup in it versus this cast stuff that can get all pitted and everything um, and it's gonna come with the, the little small impeller um, and the new style for the kit where you get everything is 039139 so that's what you're looking at um, I believe the newer one is 1979 and up the older one is 78 and lower so if you have a 78 or even a later model you depending on if somebody's changed it or not you might drop it and find either one of these in there either one will work the newer ones in my opinion are better Okay, I'm going to go over this pin situation. Um, you can see right there in the uh, drive shaft of this little guy, there's a hole right here. Okay, that's where the little pin goes that keeps this convoluted lower crank shaft um, seal all put together there and I'm gonna show you all that but first the pin if yours comes out and is missing that pin first thing turn the engine upside down shake it around see if you can tap it and get it and see if it might be up in the cavity if not chances are somebody didn't put it back in all right so the pin the pin the pin Okay, that pin that goes in there, 
is 3 30 seconds times 3 quarter. And it is available for about 14 15 bucks, which is ludicrous. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your drill index of sorts. You know, you know, you know. So it can be this kind, of course you don't want to use your good drill bits, but you see they're, they're marked in sizes, there's 330 seconds, so that's the one that would fit it. So get you an old drill index case like that, get you some cheap drill bits like these, um, and then, or a drill sizing deal like this here. So, you know, you can get right accurate. And you can look on here, and it shows 330 seconds right there in that hole. Now, the length, like I said, is 330 seconds by 3 quarters of an inch long. So get your little measure deal, set it at 3 quarters, use a ruler, whatever. Come from the end. This does not have to be perfect. Make you a little mark right there. So I made me a little mark right there. Okay. There's my little mark. I get my vice grips because I don't want my pin to go flying. Get you a good set of cutters. Go to your mark. You can always file it down a little bit if it's too long. And get to cutting. Okay, so I chopped this little drill bit, and there's my pin now. Might want to put a little Vaseline on that before you go back up, but I'm going to show you the order that this whole mess goes in. Okay, first I'll show you this. And you can pause it, whatnot. Here's your cork felt seal. It, it's number one. It goes on the very top. Now, all this is going to be up beneath the power head. There's the pin. So let's go in the order of the pin, in reverse order, I guess. Right here's the pin, number seven. Then you've got the brass cup. The cup faces up because the spring sits in this cup. So you've got the brass cup. You've got the spring, okay? And on top of the spring, you've got the carbon ceramic cup, all right? It goes with the opening face in the spring so that the spring is pinched in between these two. Okay, the O-ring, it kind of goes down in a little cavity that's right on top of the ceramic carbon cup. So your O-ring. Then you've got your metal washer all right, goes on top of that, and then the felt or cork gasket goes right on top of that, and it'll be raised up right here so that that felt cork ring sets there. So that's the sequence. You can pause it. Hopefully, I've got everything labeled there. That's the sequence that this mystery goes in. All right. All right, so the way it would look, let me get everything. Now, like I said, you're not going to be able to see this because it's going to be all up inside there. It's going to be all up inside. Okay, let me clean this up so you can see this too. All right, so we got our pin in there. Let me get you in a little closer. All right, I think you can see that. Okay, we got our pin, then you've got the brass cup. And if you look on the bottom of the brass cup, there's two little, little holes that are kind of, they have like little raised up parts in them. And that helps it sit in the ring or keeps it centered sorta. 
Then you got your spring, see how it fits in that cup. Okay. Now, you've got on this carbon ceramic washer a deep side for the spring and a narrower side for the O-ring. So this goes down and the spring. Now the spring, you can see, is going to have pressure when this drive shaft is raised up and stabbed in there. Now here's this washer. You can see it's got a little raised lip there. All right. Whoops, first we've got to put the O-ring. Here's the O-ring. It goes down in that carbon ceramic seal, sort of, in that little groove there. Then this faces up with that lip up. And then you've got your it's carbon felt cork, I don't know what it is, washer. And I'm going to make a new one of those. It goes there. That's the entire setup. Now, when you look up into that lower unit, all you're going to see is the bottom of this brass lower cup. That's, that's what you'll see when you look up in there. But you will see two slots depending on how much carbon buildup, grease, and all that. If you clean it out, that's what you'll see is the bottom of the brass and the slots, the two slots in the casting for the, the pin to go. So this whole thing is going to be pushed up and then you're going to have it in gear and spin the propeller and it'll go on up in there and seat. And I'll show you, I'm going to clean it up a little bit where you can see the slot. Now that I've got the power head off this motor, you'll be able to see that slot. I'll be right back. Okay, there's the slots right there. Hopefully you can see them. There's one on each side. There's a slot on each side. Hopefully my light is doing that justice. But that's where all this stuff goes, where those slots are down in that cup. That pin comes up and into those slots then you give it a half turn. So if you pull the power head you're gonna have the brass cup then you're going to have the spring. Then you're going to have the ceramic carbon cup. Then you'll have the O-ring. Then you'll have the metal washer with the lip up. Then you'll have your felt cork seal. And that's what you would see if you pulled the power head. And all that, of course, if you pulled the lower unit, after you give it your half twist and get that pin to come down through the slots, you would get the lower unit, the drive shaft with the pin in it. Alrighty. Okay, so we've got uh, the tiller bracket, the part that was broke, we've got that all replaced and I replaced one motor mount on it. I uh, cleaned up the actual tiller itself, the handle, steering handle. That thing had enough grease caked up in um, the knuckles, the brass knuckles. Um, I mean there was enough grease in there to melt down 20 pigs. Ducks. Duck butter. Geese. But boy it was caked in there. Um, and same with the uh, the actual 
you know, transom swivel. Gosh, man, there was just gobs of it. So maybe it did some actual saving on it in the long run. Uh, I don't know um, my thoughts on that with all that salt getting mixed in with it and everything. I don't know. What do you think? Anyway, I got gobs of it out of there and cleaned it up as best I could. Gave her a quick coat of paint here and there and I've got my power head to base gasket laid down with a little bit of uh, just a, a nice thin coating of high temp, high temperature uh, gasket maker in there. We've got that. We've got the new seal punched cut and everything ready to get this thing back together. We've got the prop on the lower unit squared away with a new impeller and everything and uh, so, but I do know that this one's getting a little bit long, you understand us. So, that's going to be a wrap on this one. That is one more hack from Kodiak, and thank you for watching. Stay tuned for part four on Inside Out Bullets with your host, Cody Bass.